Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Litz and welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. It's been a little while. Today we're going to try to make some money and make some progress in the Christmas event. So we're going to jump right in and grab an external contract. When we last left off, we're up here in Sterling, Colorado. And I did see a job here a second ago to Fort Collins. That's when we're going to take Christmas gifts. Only two hours and 27 minutes. So today's going to be a double episode, episode double header. We're going to do one short uh, delivery to get one more delivery for the Christmas event and then pick up another one, hopefully just as short. So we'll get two parking experiences to try out and then uh, a couple more cities, hopefully, in our Colorado goal, kind of working towards getting some of the achievements in Colorado to uh, kind of clear up the whole state here. But let's get started. Our truck is working. Let's make sure our lights are on. Yep, they are. Let's get this going and let's see we have to go three minutes to pick up our delivery also when we are in Colorado you may recall in the last episode we had a little bit of a difficulty uh, when we tried to sleep we crashed into a wall so our truck has five percent damage because we have the snow mod odd with the fit the snow mod on with the physics slipperiness so where are we going here can we just go this way no we're going this way can we just go right down here I'm not quite sure where they're making us skip all that. Let's go right down here. It looks like, actually, we could have gone right behind the building, too. So, anyway, can we get in here? Gate's closed. It's going to open for us? Zach, up. There we go. They're letting us in. So, anyway, one of the goals is when we get to uh, Fort Collins that we're going to have to find and repair our truck. Get that taken care of. And there's some question marks to explore there as well. So our gifts should be right around the corner here. Coming from Home Depot. There they are. Okay. Just spin around here. And I have to remember that these are the not necessarily the most nimble U.S. trucks. So we're probably going to have to back this one up and in. Oh, can we get this? Back it right up and in? We got this. I think we can. I think we can. Usually these are pretty forgiving. I think there's a setting in the game, right, that you can do that. There we go. That makes it, uh, you have to be a, more precise with these. But uh, I know we have it on the default one, which is pretty easy to pull in here. All right, Christmas gifts all attached. Now it's 5 o'clock in the morning, so we're getting an early start. I haven't seen this trailer yet either. This is pretty cool. There are so many different trailers for this event. Anyway, let's get started here. Two hours and 28 minutes, and we have the Slippery Physics mod on, so hopefully we won't hit more stuff. But you never know. We've got plenty of gas, plenty of sleep. We should have the sun coming up in an hour or two as we arrive to uh, Fort Collins here. So we'll uh, connect here as we get... Whoa, come on, gate open before we hit it. it. Takes so long to stop with this Physics mod. With the Slippery Snow there. But yeah, so we'll get going here and uh, let's connect as we get a little bit out onto the highway. So we are about uh, half an hour outside of Fort Collins on the highway heading to, uh, sorry, half an hour outside of Sterling on the highway to Fort Collins. Uh, about hour and a half left on our journey, make a good time. Still perfectly dark out at 6.30 in the morning. So we should arrive in Fort Collins in time for some breakfast. Um, so the sky appears to just, nah, I thought it was getting brighter behind us, but it's really not. I think in terms of short-term goals, what we're trying to do is pick up some of the achievements in Colorado, which is mainly right now just involved because we're doing Christmas gifts and a lot of the Colorado achievements involve deliveries to specific companies, mainly just trying to come around and see the city and kind of check out the sites and stuff like that. And I think we've seen most of the eastern part of the state already. So I'm hopeful that as we go west, we might be able to get some snow because still installed that snow mod and still haven't had a snowstorm yet definitely want to get a snowstorm before the Christmas event is over. So heading into the mountains should hopefully give us a little bit more of an opportunity to get some inclement weather. But our immediate goal is to get $100,000 so we can pay off the loan we got to buy our own trailer. We, we have $40,000 now, so that's that's not too bad. It's pretty good. Um, and this will give us about $10,000. So by the end of this episode, we should have close to... Well, we're going to have to pay off our loan, too. Yeah, we'll probably have close to 50000 And if our AI drivers, if our hired drivers might actually make some money, we could even get over 50000 maybe close to 60000 But they don't seem to do very much. Jenna Kay and Ahmed. Ahmed picked up 7000 I think, in the last episode, though. So that wasn't too bad. Wow, the fog is really hitting thick now. This is kind of cool. Hopefully this will burn off. Maybe this is a sign of a snowstorm. That would be kind of fun. 
It's kind of spooky here with the, the foggy conditions and cars just popping out of the snow and stuff. So on the road ahead, so, very cool. It does feel like it's getting brighter though. The sun's coming up now, seven o'clock. So anyway, we'll keep chugging along and we'll touch base as we get a little bit closer to our final destination. But with only an hour to go, we might just check in as we get closer to Fort Collins. This is uh, kind of cool here, driving in this winter fog. You just, it's when there's no other cars around, you just get the trees off on the side and the snow-covered landscape. Look, everything is gray. Such a winter palette here. But we are approaching Fort Collins, about 25 minutes away, so not much more. I, I wonder if it's going to stay foggy like this for our whole ride here. We're signed for Denver, too, but right through the yellow light. What? No, that... That was still yellow. Oh, this one's going to be... I can't stop. That's going to be... <laughs> okay. With the winter mod on, there is no way I could stop for that yellow light. I didn't even see it, but with the fog, I didn't even see it. So that would have been... That looks like there's something on the road up ahead here. Oh, maybe it's the police pulling us over for running consecutive red lights or so. There is no way. If I hit the brakes, I would just slid right through that one. The, the safest thing to do is to go through that because I was going, obviously, at a dangerous speed, which is kind of a contradiction, but it, it makes sense, right? But the first one, no. We, that I feel, I'm going to look at the video on that one. I feel like that was yellow when we went through it. Anyway, so we're going to make 9,000 and lose 1,500 here. Oops, and we're going to hit that car. No, 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 please, please, stop. please, 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 stop, stop, please, please. Oh, God. Anyway, we'll check in as we get to the final destination here. Just a couple of minutes away. Fort Collins discovered. Seven out of 13 Colorado states. Wow, we're over halfway. I don't feel like we've spent much time here at all. But we've, we've dipped in and out of the state a number of times doing deliveries from states around it. So that's probably how we picked up most of them. All right, here we are at Sell Goods. Can stop here. We got 40 XP. Hmm. Okay. Is that right over there? How do we get around this truck here? Well, I guess we'll figure that out as we go here. Maybe it's not too bad. Some of these 40s are hard in this game. Gonna make that corner? Yeah, we got this. Oh, this doesn't look too bad. It's gonna be on our blind side, but still. Pull over here, we should be able to pull right in. Ooh, we got the gates there too. Yeah, no, we got this. This is fine. Now we gotta cut it really tight to pull it in. Yeah, that's feeling pretty good. We still gotta go tight though, don't we? So we hit the trailer. Alright. Now we gotta get straight. Otherwise we're gonna go back into that wall. Yeah, we screwed it up, didn't we? had it, I just didn't cut it fast enough, but maybe we can sort it out this way. In. Alrighty, so we are here. Not too bad. Still foggy though, huh? Feels cool. So, let's uh, rack this one up. 9,000 minus 1,400 in fines. First, first red light was not. A second one, yeah, no chance. <clears throat> All right, would we end up with 8,700? 8, Why? I thought it was supposed to be 9,000. They're cutting our money out now. Not much progress there, too. Anyway, well, we'll, we'll take what we got here. What are we at now? 48,000. All right, I'm going to get the truck fixed because we need to do that because uh, we have our 5% damage. They actually reminded us that at the... Uh, so we'll go right up there. Then we'll pick up a delivery. So I'll see you in a couple minutes as we get our... After we get our truck repaired, pick up our next delivery. So... Alrighty, so we got our truck repaired at a Freightliner dealer, and I was very tempted to spend $25,000 for a snowy cab paint job, but I said, no, don't spend the money. So for the first time, I actually held off on spending some of our hard-earned money because I really want to get to $100,000. I really want to get that third truck, and I keep spending all our money on stuff that we don't need. We're never going to get there, so I'm trying to stay focused trying to stay disciplined but uh, we have about a half an hour ride we're going to pick up some presents uh just a little bit outside of town here and then we have a three-hour delivery down to colorado springs 
which interestingly enough, they keep track of how many deliveries are made to each city in the game during the event of presence. And Colorado Springs only had something like 20 something deliveries or 16 deliveries made to it in the, the winter event so far. So good for us. We're giving presents to kids who haven't had very many presents. So it, even though it is November, what, sorry, January 5th, so it's a little bit late, but if they've only got a few presents, 16 truckloads of presents isn't very many truckloads of presents for a whole town. So we're helping the kiddies out here. I feel pretty good about this one. Warms my heart. Still a lot of fog here though, but we'll check in as we pick up our trailer and get on the road. God, idiot. What are you doing? No. That wasn't my fault. Colorado, what are you doing to me? Do you see that guy? He cut me off, forced me into the passing lane so I wouldn't hit him, and then be, I cut back in, but they still said I was in the left-hand turn lane going straight, so they gave me a $700 violation. So it's $2,000 in fines. We're not even half done with the episode. It's going to be a long road to 100000 and then to a new truck. We're at this... This is Buford Farms or something? I'm not sure what it's called. But we're at the farm place here. Can I just go that way? I, th I think I can just cut across here, right? I shouldn't have to go all the way around. But anyway, we're picking up the presents here at the farm. I'm not quite sure why we're getting Christmas presents at a farm. It doesn't quite make sense to me. But we'll just roll with it. The game is giving us some bizarre routing here, but we'll just... Pick up our trailer and be on our way. Yeah, so here we are. And you'll notice we're in the middle of this farm picking up Christmas presents on a foggy January morning. I'm not quite sure why we're here picking up Christmas presents. but It's good enough. Let's get on the way. I think we can go out the same way we came, right? We're gonna go all the way around there. That's crazy stuff. Take the shortcut. Whoops. What? Wait, wait, wait. Presents. <laughs> I hooked, didn't I hook him up? It's tea, didn't I? Todo preparado, vámonos. There we go. Now we press the T. Now we're good to go. All hooked up here. All right. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay, so we got uh, two hours and 54 minutes. We're going to take the shortcut out of here, too. Not going to go all the way around that big loop. That's crazy stuff. Cut through the little farm here. Bushnell Farms, yeah. Picking up Christmas presents at Bushnell Farms. Maybe it's just like little baby cows or something that they're doing. Whoops. No, 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 we're going to go this way. Okay. Newbie. Google's having a bad day here with the newbie. All right, bumpy ride out, but we'll get on the road here. We'll tech connect as we get a little bit going here. Hopefully the weather will be a little... Actually, this is kind of fun to drive in the fog, too, you know? But I think as we get closer to the west part of the state, we're going to have more precipitation. I can't see the lights in the fog. So by the time I can see the lights, it's too late to stop. And so we just slid right through the intersection with the physics mod stuff on there. How many fines is that? Is that $3,000 in fines? We're going to go negative on this episode. Okay, here we go. Right here. Dropping the gauntlet. No more fines. No more violations. Nothing. We've got at least four, right? I think five? 2,800? All right. It's kind of painful. $8,000 job. But anyway, it's all part of the game. I'm not complaining. All right. No more tickets and fines on the rest of this route. I am going to use the force. I'm going to anticipate where the traffic arts lights are in this fog and I'm going to be ready to stop. I know we're going through Fort Collins and there's more lights up ahead. Because I just ran like three of them the last time we were here. <laughs> All right, I can see a light up there. It's not going to get me this time. Oh. 
This is crazy. This is like the most traffic lights violations ever. And that one was 1400. And I didn't even go through the intersection. Not liking Colorado. Why was that one 1400? Look who I'm. I'm fine. Right? Okay, now, from now, we're not going to have any traffic violations. Alrighty, so we're we finally cleared Port Collins. I did make it past one light without getting a fine. So I got four thousand two hundred dollars in fines over there, and the, the fog is cleared now. So now when we're on the highway, and we don't really need to see the traffic lights. The fog's all cleared up. It's an expensive stay at Fort Collins. That's the most I think in fines I've gotten in one episode so far playing this game. So what can you do? But I couldn't see the light. By the time I would see the light that was, by, I'd see that the light was there. It was too late to stop. This is really slippery. I think I probably am going to turn off the slippery mod at some point soon. But yeah, look at this. Another clear day. No sign of snow. So our search for a winter snowstorm still goes on. Will we get a winter snowstorm before the end of the Christmas event? I don't really know. Anyway, uh, we'll head on down the road here. We've got the mountains off to our right now. Starting to see some mountains here. So the bumpy part of Colorado to our right as we head down towards Denver. I'm not, we're going to go right through Denver. I'm not sure whether that's going to give us the city or not. And uh, Colorado Springs, the city we're going to, will be a new one for us. So this should give us 9 of 13, I think, if we get these two cities as we go through here. So uh, making some more progress and visiting all the spots in Colorado. And uh, we'll touch base. we got about uh, an hour or so left. All right. So about an hour and 20 minutes left. And we are passing through Denver right to our off to our left-hand side here. Making pretty good time. And we did get this city, so that gives us 8 of 13 now. So 5 left to go to get the Colorado achievement. A couple of things I was thinking to, to, I'm, I'm thinking to do as we go forward. And I'm, I was kind of ta thinking to talk a little bit about mods in the last part here. I, I've had a lot of fun adding the sound mods and the winter sound mods and the snow mod and stuff like that. Oh, here's the Mount High Stadium on the right-hand side. Very cool. Football stadium. Nice. And we are close to the mountains now. Denver's only about an hour or so from the mountains on the left hand side, to our right hand side here. So we should start to see more precipitation now in this part of the state. But anyway, um, you know, get the snow mod in, put the sound mods in, put the uh, the winter sound mods in and stuff like that. I've had a lot of fun installing those and making some tutorials for them. I think the next mods I want to do, I want to add some of the Jazzy Cat traffic mods. I had those before and then when the update went to version 1.40, I didn't put them back in. So I think I wanted to put those back in. They had a lot of different types of vehicles in the game, which is always kind of fun. And connected to that, one of the things that I was curious about was there's, a, I know there's a mod for real company names and uh, and things like that. So then in real trailer names, so that you get, rather than getting like, you know, Walbert or whatever it is, it actually converts it into Walmart. But one of the things I was trying to find, and I just looked for about 10 or 15 minutes and then I just stopped, but one of the things I'm curious of, there's a number of achievements in the game that ask you to deliver to very specific companies in the game. And if you have the real names mod in, does that break those achievements? I couldn't find that anywhere online. I suppose we could install it and test it to see if the delivery counts or not. But um, I'd, I'd like to get those achievements more than I would like to get have the real names in the game. So that's something, if you know the answer, maybe you could let me know, but I was curious. I couldn't find anything uh, on a quick look. I couldn't find anything about that there. And the other thing uh, that I would like to install, well, no, I, the real name ones and that, the other thing that I was, uh, people have been asking about is what kind of setup I'm using, a technical setup and what kind of mods I have installed now. So I might just do kind of a, a drive where I talk about the technical components of the system I'm running. Cause there's really almost no mods in this. The only mods that I'm using are the winter mod and uh, the winter sounds mods the ones that we saw in those previous tutorial episodes so this is really kind of just the vanilla game here uh, but i have a fairly decent computer so that might be part of the reason and the tech the settings that i'm using for whatever reason I'm, I'm really happy with the the look that i get in the game i feel like it's it's pretty clean and uh, it doesn't stutter i don't seem to have any troubles running things uh, and it doesn't look can't see jitters or anything like that so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. But we'll talk about that, I think, perhaps in, a pre in a, an upcoming episode. Anyway, we are through Denver on our way to Colorado Springs now. That car's not going to cut us off. And uh, let's uh, connect as we get closer to the final destination. So uh, there's an airplane right in front of us here. Colorado Springs has uh, 
huge Air Force base. I think it's the head of the U.S. Air Force. Air Force Academy, I think, is here as well. So, hence the, the plane there. We are almost at our final destination now. So off to the right here, one minute away. I was just in Colorado Springs a couple years ago, and this, this kind of feels like a small-scale, similar feel to the place. So I think I, I feel like I'm in Colorado, but it just feels tiny. Whoops, I gotta go right here. <sighs> Made it. All right. Oh, a 90. Nice. What do we got here? Oh, right down the edge. That doesn't see on the, the surface of things. It doesn't feel like it should be all that bad, right? We should just be able to cut right over here. We got plenty of room to pull forward on this side and park in. Loan installment paid. Ah, oh, 7,000. So we're down to 38,000. We started the episode at 41,000. We've already made a 10,000 delivery. And now we are at 38,000. We're going backwards. I mean, I guess if we paid the loan off, that's that's something, right? But where do we have to go? Oh, it's way down the side there. I'm not even close. I'm aiming for the wrong thing. It's to the left of the building as we look at it. But I think we're okay if we go this way. We're still going to clear that building, I think, the wall. I feel like we're in pretty good shape now for this one. I think this was a really easy 90. Nice. We are home. All right. Oh, I f oh well, that works. Let's see. We get any money? 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Yay. So two deliveries, halfway to level 18. <laughs> we made 20,000. We started at 41,000. We ended up with 48,000. That's what happens when you get over $4,000 in fines. But we're closing in on the halfway point for the Christmas event now. Seven out of 15 deliveries. I think for the next trucking episode, I'm gonna do another one in American Truck Simulator because I'd really like to get closer to, and of course, come to think of it, Ahmed or Jana Kay made zero money for us again. Don't know what I'm paying them for. Where are they, by the way? Driver manager, what are they doing? Jana Kay. She's taking tires, finishes in 19 hours. Okay, well, that's kind of promising, I think. What's Ahmed doing? Empty pallets. <clears throat> why do they keep taking empty pallets? I don't know why. Okay, it's like the least profitable run you can make. Making only 2,600 a day. Come on, Ahmed. Jenna K, you're not doing much better. 3,000, and I think those numbers are inflated. Anyway, that brings us to the end today. Thanks so much for tuning us in. Hope, tuning in. Hope you enjoyed seeing us slide our way through several intersections and racking up a record amount of red light violations in one episode. Um, yeah, that was that was pretty entertaining for me too. Of course, driving, yeah, slippery conditions in the fog, not the best for kind of keeping safe while on the roads, I suppose. Anyway, um, if you've enjoyed it. <laughs> please give it a thumbs up if you're new please consider subscribing see you in the next episode again now that i'm kind of back at work and things will settle down after the holidays i'm hopeful to crank out um, a good number of episodes over the course of january here so take care everybody have a great rest of the week we'll see you uh see you soon bye